It's Saturday, <laughs> and of course, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome in. Um, today we're getting into kitchen essentials, what I need in my kitchen. So right now we're on a plat in like a backdrop kitchen that I got from Synergy. Um, so in a minute we're gonna just go step right down there and rip up some refrigerators to make a custom refrigerator or so I can show y'all how I make my custom refrigerators because I like I'm a little extra so I just like to do a little extra with everything I do so with that being said y'all are gonna see my custom refrigerators how to make them and also where I shop for my kitchen essentials so stepping over here I have two refrigerators now the first one well, this one over here is the Marac Lux refrigerator. Um, we're going to rip it up in a minute. And this one over here, I actually just found because normally I would have had to, the black one, I would have had to rip up a wine cooler to get that. But Kraftwerk makes it now where you can come like this, fully stocked with all the this stuff in there. I personally don't like that. So I'm going to rip this stuff out and I'm going to show y'all how to do that. So jumping into edit mode, I'm going to go to select face. Um, this is how you select things one by one to basically unlink it. So I'm going to click the first thing. After you click the first thing, make sure you hold down the shift button. Like keep it held down as you select everything else. So I select the eggs. My hand is still pressing down on shift on the keyboard while I'm selecting all the other things. Because if you just, if you let it go, you're only going to select one thing or you're going to just go to the next thing. So this is just to highlight everything at once basically so you just keep your hand on shift and select make sure you pay close attention to what you're highlighting you can see the little white marks over it and it shows what i'm highlighting sometimes it's a top and a bottom so just be careful and if you don't catch it the first time you can always catch it the second time so just take your time and breeze on through and select i just stopped there and i'm just gonna go over here and press unlink and then i'm gonna put move and so I could see what I picked up. Boom. So all of that is what I unlinked. So I'm going to go to delete because I don't need all of that. And I see that I left some things, whatever that orange stuff is. I left that and then I left those inside. So I'm just going to go back to select face, adjust my camera so I could see what I'm selecting. Because don't select the frame of the refrigerator because you're going to mess around and unlink that and you don't want to do that <laughs> so i'm just selecting the stuff i think i messed up here because i was trying to zoom in and get the bottom as well as the top and i messed it up so i'm just gonna um slow it down i'm gonna back it up and just see i selected everything so i'm just gonna slow down and because i would have ended up taking a frame out and i did not want to do that so slow down take your time see what you're highlighting if you gotta just do it in parts do it in parts so i just did this one thing up here first i unlinked them pressed unlink and i slide it so i could slide slow when you're sliding just to make sure you're not grabbing the base of whatever you're unlinking so that way you could just slide it right back if you did and unselect it but now i'm gonna do the drawers at the bottom i'm gonna key them right in there because that little glass in the front was stopping me from just clicking it so i'm just going to cam in here and make sure i highlight all of this stuff in the baskets i mean normally i probably would have kept this in here but i i didn't like it so i just took it out and just also just to show y'all how to rip things out so took those out gonna slide them out and delete them and then now i'm just gonna jump right in with the bottom taken out because uh, y'all get it y'all get it <laughs> so that's how you empty it out and now you can just stock this with your foods and there you go a custom refrigerator i'm gonna show y'all in a minute but i'm gonna rip this one up too because this is kind of the refrigerator that i did before before i got this from crap that black one from craft work so um i'm going to do the same thing i'm gonna go in edit mode and i'm gonna select the doors I'm mindful of what I'm highlighting, highlighting both the bars, the base doors and the little water filter thing. And I'm going to go to unlink and I'm going to slide it slowly. And I see I took the doors off, so I'm just going to delete them. 
And then that stuff right there was on the inside of the door. So it kind of gave me the flux because I'm like, okay, let me just take this out. So I um start selecting them to unlink them because I thought they were still linked to the refrigerator. And I seen that I kept selecting the base of the refrigerator. You see back there, I kept highlighting white. No, I don't want to unlink that. So I'm like, what's going on here? So I just kept trying to select it, but I couldn't select those like jams and jelly right there or peanut butter and jelly, whatever it is right there in the milks. So I just decided to just try to drag them because I don't know what was going on. And I seen that they were already unlinked from the refrigerator. Boom. So I'm like, oh, let me just grab them and delete them then since they're not attached to the refrigerator anymore. And that was just like an easy fix. Boom. Also, move slow because see right here, I was moving too fast, not paying attention to what I was highlighting, and I deleted the refrigerator. So I just brought it back, deleted the jams, and then now we're here with this base refrigerator here. Um, Normally, I use a different door, but I'm just going to use the door off of this one. So I'm going to hold down shift, slide to the left. Boom, made a copy. When y'all holding down shift, when y'all highlighting to unlink stuff, make sure y'all let shift go after you're done selecting because if you slide that stuff out while holding down shift you're gonna copy it so let it go once you're done selecting stuff to highlight just be mindful but right here i'm highlighting the door of that refrigerator and then i unlinked it so i can put it on the other refrigerator basically which i really didn't need to do this because after i did it i was like I should have just moved forward and stocked the black one because it looks nicer. But I don't know. I was just trying to show y'all how y'all could take y'all refrigerator that y'all got now and just unlink the doors off that bad boy. And y'all can get doors from something else like this cooler or the commercial fridge on Marketplace. But I don't want to confuse y'all. So, yeah, I just unlinked the door off of that Kraftwerk fridge and I'm going to resize it. And put it on the Murak fridge that we basically just ripped the doors off of. Just to give it a, you know, the see-through look. So I was showing by opening and closing it that it still has that script in it. Because sometimes you can accidentally rip it out. So just be careful. Um, but once you unlink it, just click it to make sure that it still works. And it does. And it was actually all linked together. Like sometimes when you unlink stuff, it might come in pieces. So just be careful. But this door was all put together so i'm just resizing it to fit the front of the refrigerator don't forget to adjust your camera and make sure you're looking at like all angles because what looks right from the front could be totally different from the side so see it wasn't all the way up there so just make sure you're moving that camera around and getting the angles to make sure you fitting it in there perfectly. So right here, I'm just testing and making sure it opens and closes and it does. So I decided to go ahead and fill this one up basically when I should have just used this black one over here, but this is just showing two options you could use to restock your own refrigerator. But you could also just buy it stocked like it came at Craftwork and I'm gonna link it below too, but Okay, so here I'm just showing y'all junk food has so many filler options as well as Marek. Marek has um, right next to the refrigerator that I, that was just up there. They had a, a food pack with filler foods for you to customize your own refrigerator. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and fill the refrigerator and then show y'all. Because um, I mostly like interactive stuff. So the fillers that they gave, I didn't really like. Um... I like to be able to walk up to my refrigerator and grab a yogurt or grab a juice or grab some soda or, you know, whatever. So in here I have canopy, I have junk food, I have little pea on the meats, Hills meal prep, um, Lucas and Lameth salad, gnarly for the ketchup and mustard and ranch, canopy for the shaker bottles, little pea for the grapes, mama do for the breast milk. If y'all see something specific, let me know and I'll tell you where I got it from. But this right here is also a gem. If you go to junk food and purchase the mini fridge, even though you're not using the mini fridge, it comes with this big old thing right here that's sectioned off with containers, 
leftovers, fridge stuff, freezer stuff, pantry stuff. Junk food has it all. That's where I get a lot of my stuff from. But this right here was like a one-stop shop because you could just buy the mini fridge thing. And you'll get this whole thing and you could just pick off of here and fill in your refrigerator or your pantry. And Canopy also has the fridge fillers with the the cases. You could use those cases and, and just fill in your own stuff, like the empty cases and put in whatever you want in there. Like I stacked Lunchables in mine. So it's all about how you play with it, how you get creative with it. I really rip up a lot of stuff and piece stuff together. But behind me is this is not my kitchen. Like I said, this is a plat. This is a backdrop kitchen just to fill it in, just to show y'all, just to go over the essentials because I rotate stuff a lot in my kitchen. So this right here is the Tridente Iced Coffee Maker. I love, love, love it. Like I said, I also like interactive stuff. So this right here, I'm just making a iced coffee to show y'all. But I love, 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 I get a lot of stuff from Tridente too because he's he's making a lot of stuff. And it's a lot of it is my story too so y'all should check them out but um i was just going through making an iced coffee just to show y'all how interactive it is and then that you actually get iced coffee love that and then moving forward my favorite 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 i crushed ice maker you can actually click it and get like a cup of crushed ice that you'll eat and then it'll disappear you can just go grab another one. Super realistic. This green tea maker is my absolute favorite. I love tea. So um, when you click it to turn it on, it gives you a HUD on your screen. You can select what kind of tea you want. This is so cute. So perfect on the counter. I love it so much. <laughs> but I was I just made like, a, I think I made a white tea just to show y'all how it goes. And then you select it and it starts pouring. It makes noise. I don't know if it's making noise on the video, but... It makes noise as it fills up. It's piping hot. Once it's done, it's gonna. You can click it and it'll attach to you. And you could just sip it, and then I think eventually it'll disappear once you finish sipping it. But perfect, perfect, perfect. That's from Apple Falls. That's Apple Falls and Fancy Decor collab. I'll link it. I'll link it. But over here, Lucas and Lameth. I just threw this up here just to show y'all. They have nice stuff for you to complete any scene of cooking i love lucas and lameth please check them out if anything also dust bunny these things in front right here these three different prep scenes are from dust bunny i love clutter i like adding stuff to the scene i don't keep stuff on my counter for real because anytime i cook something different i'm changing the scene but in my previous videos, y'all seen the air fryer and a slow cooker from Craftwork. I just put the invisible My Story Prem over it and I cook a tablet. I need a tablet in my kitchen and I'll just get a, I'll go on Google and just take a screenshot of a recipe and then I'll upload it and put it on the screen just, you know, for the aesthetic of cooking. The Tridente seasonings and the chopping board are perfect, 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 perfect. I love it. Keep it on my counter. The seasonings off to the right are actually from six. I'll link those. Those aren't interactive. The ones from six aren't interactive. You can um, actually season stuff. But right now I'm using a chopping board, chopping up some strawberries just to show y'all how the chopping board works. You can actually make all type of stuff like, or you could chop all type of stuff, fruits, vegetables, tofu, um, all type of meat, all of that. So it's perfect for your counter. Because when I cook, I like to actually do all of this. Like, I'll chop, and then I'll do this, and I'll do that. I'll be all over the place. So, perfect, perfect, perfect. Super essential for your kitchen, in my opinion. But right here, I was just showing y'all, like, all the stuff you can actually cut up and chop and dice, slice and dice, and all of that other good stuff. So, this is some tofu. I just selected it, and I'm going to chop it just to show y'all. I still got that iced coffee in my hand. So stepping over here, I also wanted to show y'all the wok. I think that's how you say it from Tridente. You can um, basically combine different dishes, like, well, different foods into the wok to actually cook. And you can actually burn it too. Um, it's all for the role play. Uh, I like it because I'll chop some salmon on the chopping board. And then 
I'll come over here and cook. Like anything you could check on the chopping board, you can actually have it inside of this wok. So it's like a station. You go from chopping to cooking. It has the sounds. You have the cooking utensil to cook and all of that. This next gem is my Allen Bar and Grill. That's where I got the crushed ice maker from. I don't know if I mentioned that. But the they have a cooking mat as well. I love Allen Bar and Grill so much. Y'all know this. But they have a cooking mat and it has everything you will be doing around the kitchen in one mat. So I'll have one in front of the, the sink and in front of the, the stove and on the next to the counter just because you only need this because it comes with props. It resins its own props. So even if you didn't use the chopping board, you could just use the chopping board that's inside of this mat. See, I'm washing dishes. You can wipe the table. You could do all different types of stuff. I love Allen Bar and Grill. Even if y'all go there and just get like their foods if you cook with them you know they have like olive oils and seasonings and stuff they have seasonings too that you can put on your on your counter stuff like that the allen bar grill stuff is actually good to sit on your counter as well as cooking with it so i love me some allen bar i love me some allen bar grill y'all know it um but i was just showing y'all all of the stuff that's inside of this one cooking mat a mixer you can wash your meats you could do all type of stuff i'm sorry y'all i'm kind of just breezing through this because i was having a lot of technical difficulties while recording this so i was just like trying to get it done <laughs> i think i had a technical difficulty here and i was like i think i froze or something and was just trying to get it done but back to showing y'all i was rolling dough right here just showing y'all all not all but some of the stuff that's inside of the net so you can really just use this instead of having to see that's a seasoning you can just season food it's you can see the sprinkles falling it's perfect get you an allen barn grill mat it's in the back of the store go get you one you can use it all over the kitchen you don't have to use it even when you don't have to use it for cooking allen barn grill stuff you can just use it for when you're role plant cooking it's it's perfect so even if you don't get the exact same things that i get shop around these stores Craftwork, tridente Lil P, Allen Bar and Grill, Canopy, Dust Bunny, Lucas and Lameth for sure. Like, I'm going to do a cook with me so y'all can really see how I get down. Like, I I make so many... Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. So, But thank y'all again for watching. Let me know what else y'all want to see. And I'll see y'all next time.